Now let's take a look at the editor. In above development tools, you have a multi-document editor for your convenience with syntax coloring, code completion, F1 help, and new comfortable search and navigation capabilities. Since you work in multiple above systems, the system ID is shown in the editor tab title. In the editor window tooltip, you can get the information about the project and current open object in the editor. Until now, we have opened some different above objects in the editor. As you can see, they are all available here in the editor tabs. Just switch between the editor tabs to navigate between them or split the editor windows to have a look at some of them at the same time. In the above workbench, each opened above object would replace the previous one in the editor and you would have to open a new GUI window if you want to display above objects in parallel. If you now want to change the above development object, you don't need to press the display change button. Just start to type your code directly in the editor. For the navigation, you can use the yellow arrow buttons to navigate forward and backward between the editor windows and also to jump to your last edit location. And last but not least, in these tabs below the editor, you can switch between class, its local types, test classes, and so on.